Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Baking Diva, better known to my four grandsons as Glamma. Hey, I'll take it. You have to take what you can get, right? I want to give a shout out to all my divets out there. Wait a minute. Is there such a word as divets? I don't think so. Well, anyway, I just made it up and I like it. So shout out to all my divets out there and to all the newcomers at my channel. Welcome, and I hope you'll enjoy what you see today, and you'll subscribe. Today, we are going to make a delicious dessert. Requires no baking. That's the best part. And I was debating whether or not I wanted to show you this recipe or not, because it's so fantastic that I like to keep it a secret. But then I thought, no, that's not fair. So anyway, I'm going to show you today how to make, well, close your eyes first. Close your eyes for a minute and picture. Oh, Lorna Doon cookies. You know, those delicious shortbread cookies and butter pecan ice cream and Heath bars, butter, and a few other things I'm gonna tell you about in a couple of minutes. The angels are singing. So let's get started. You are going to love this. But trust me, once you make it, it's going to be one of your most requested recipes. And be prepared to make it a lot because it's delicious. The name of this recipe is Lorna Dune Delight. And it is delightful. What you're going to need are the following ingredients. You are going to need two cups of milk. Use regular milk. Do not use skim milk or fat-free milk. You're going to need Cool Whip. You're going to need one stick of melted butter. You're going to need two boxes of vanilla instant pudding. You're going to need one box of Lorna Dune cookies, and you're going to need two pints of butter pecan ice cream. You're also going to need Heath bars. You can just buy a couple of them because they're going to be used to decorate the top of the cake. Um, we bought a bag of the miniature ones, so it really doesn't matter because you're going to chop them up and you're going to sprinkle them on top of the cake when you're done anyway. So we're going to begin right now. What I did for time purposes is I took the box of the Lorna Dune cookies and I crushed them. What I did is I put them in a Ziploc bag with a little hammer and I crushed them and this is what they came out like. This way you don't have a big mess and all your cookies are crumbled up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the crushed up Lorna Dune cookies inside this bowl. These are so good. I used to love to eat these. I used to dunk them in a cup of coffee. Mm -mm. All right, and then I already melted the one stick of butter. So I'm going to pour the one stick of melted butter in with the Lorna Dune cookie. And I'm going to mix it up. Now once I'm done combining this, the butter and the cookies, these are going to be patted down in a 9 by 13 inch pan. A glass pan is nice because, you know, you can see the dessert, but I don't have a glass 9 by 13. I have a ceramic one, which works perfectly. So let me just combine this, and then what we will do is pat it into the bottom of the pan. Just get all the butter, all the cookies mixed together so the cookie crumbs are all coated with the melted butter. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take my pan and I'm going to just put my cookie mixture in the pan. And 
Smells so good. And then I'm going to just pat it down. My hands are clean. I washed my hands. So pat it down so that the entire bottom of your pan is covered with the cookie mixture. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Now I'm just going to put this aside. And I forgot a dish towel. So let me just get a piece of paper towel. It's a lot that goes into these baking videos. Have to make sure you have all your ingredients prepared ahead of time and ready to go. All right, let me put this aside. Now I'm gonna take another bowl and I'm going to put my two boxes of instant vanilla pudding in this bowl. These are regular size boxes. They're the 3.4 ounce boxes. Okay. So we're just gonna put them right in the bowl. Try not to make these videos too long, but baking videos, you know, in order to show you what to do, I can just cut so much time out of it. Alrighty. Now, in with the two boxes of pudding, you're going to put two cups of whole milk. Okay. Fill that up to the two cup marker. All right, and I'm going to combine the milk with the vanilla pudding. Now you can either use an electric mixer to mix this, or you can use a whisk. Right now, I'm gonna just whisk it together. You know, you have to try to thicken it up a little. I really feel the electric mixer works better, but I have a stand KitchenAid mixer, so this was just easier for the sake of the video. Notice how I have all my pink accessories. I love them. Pink and zebra. Woohoo! <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm the baking diva. My grandchildren will tell you. I love makeup. I love jewelry. I love clothes. I love my husband, <laughs> my grandsons, my children, my family, and baking. So there you have it. That's why I'm the baking diva. So this is starting to thicken. Gotta still mix it a little bit more. Is it thickening? Yeah, I don't even think you need an electric mixer. As long as you have good muscles. I don't, but it's working, okay. All right. Okay, looks good. Now, what I'm gonna add to this pudding mixture is, oh boy, the angels are singing again. Two pints of butter pecan ice cream. Now this happens to be Haagen-Dazs. Haagen-Dazs, I don't have to tell you, is delicious, but you don't have to use Haagen-Dazs. You can use any butter pecan ice cream. Now the ice cream has to be softened. You can take the ice cream out of the freezer a couple of hours before and you're gonna mix it right in with the pudding. Put the other one in there. My hands are getting wet. Let me try to pull this up, there you go. Mine's very soft. You don't have to get it as soft as mine, but it does have to be softened. Wow, let me wipe my hands here. Now you're gonna combine the pudding with the ice cream. You can use a spoon for this. I'm just gonna get it going with the whisk. Okay. This looks really good. 
Now, once you get the ice cream mixed in with the pudding, boy, I'm making a mess here today. Once you get it mixed in with the pudding, you're going to pour it on top of the Lorna Doon and butter mixture. All right. And I'll just pour that right over the, the crumb mixture. Look at those pecans in there. Oh, look at that. Wow. I told you this, this recipe is to die for. Get it all out of there. We don't want to waste any of it. over here perfect smooth it make sure it's everything is covered all right and this is really very easy to make now I'm going to take my cool whip this happens to be a larger container but you can um, use a smaller container because what you're going to do is you're going to put the cool whip on top of this so we're just going to place it on top And I'm going to smooth it over lightly because the mixture is still quite soft. This. Just cover the top of it with the Cool Whip. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because when this is all done, this is going to go in the freezer overnight. And then the pudding and the ice cream will all harden. And you'll be able to slice it beautifully the next day. Okay. And just put a little bit more Cool Whip on. Can't ever have enough Cool Whip. And this is not a low fat recipe, so don't even bother buying fat free Cool Whip. You might as well go all out and make it taste great. Okay. Looking good. Turn my pan around a little bit. Get it into the corners. There we go. Okay. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to chop up your Heath bars. Now I chopped them up the same way I chopped up the cookies. I put them in a Ziploc bag and um, I used a hammer and I chopped them up. So they are now going to be sprinkled any way you like. There's some people that take the large Heath bars and shave them and put the shavings on the top. But I prefer to do it the other way. There you go. So now I have my Heath bars in the bag all chopped up. And I'm going to sprinkle them on the top of this. Just think of that, butter pecan ice cream, Heath bars, pudding, Lorna Dunes. Doesn't get much better than that. Now, once I get this done, I'm going to put Saran Wrap over the top of it. And then I'm going to refrigerate it overnight. Here we go. Looking good. I think I went overboard. I crushed up a lot of the little Heath bars, but that's okay. Put on as much or as little as you want. Almost done. All right. How's that look, cameraman? Scrumptious. You think we should put any more on? 
No. This is enough? See, si, I have to give a shout out to my husband, Tim, who is my cameraman. He has to put up with me. This is no easy task. Trust me. You have to get the lighting right, or it's too light, or it's too dark, or my nose is too white, or there's glare on my glasses. And trust me, by the time, <laughs> the time we're ready to uh, record this, or I mean video this, um, after many, many years of marriage, we could end up in divorce court. No, just kidding. All right, so I don't know if the cameraman can scan in or zoom in on this baby. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now I'm going to cover it with saran wrap. And then I will see you in the morning. So don't forget now, you may have to see me in my PJs tomorrow. I don't know, but um, whatever, we'll be able to take a nice slice of this and you'll be in heaven. So for now, I'm going to say toodles, toodles, <laughs> see you in the morning. I previously mentioned to you that this goes in the freezer overnight. Then I realized at the end I said refrigerator. So we have a correction here. This goes into the freezer, not the refrigerator. It goes into the freezer covered with saran wrap overnight. And then tomorrow we take it out. We let it sit at room temperature for about an hour and a half and then we will cut it so i will see you in the morning probably in my pjs toodles again okay you can all stop laughing now i told you in the morning you'd probably see me in pjs or a bathrobe i mean nobody can be a diva all the time so we took the dessert out of the freezer probably about two hours ago. I would say a minimum of two hours because you don't want it to be still frozen when you take it out. So it looks yummy and I'm going to take a piece of it now and do a taste test. Mm -mm -mm. Take a nice big square of this out and I'll let you know if the angels sing. Looks good. Down. Sometimes the first piece is hard to get out because it's in the corner. Yep. All right. Look at that. All right. Now I'm going to take my fork. Oh, look at that Heath bar. Look at the ice cream. The Cool Whip. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Let me try. I'm telling you, this is really, really good. Oh, the angels sang again. So you have to try this, honestly. It's delicious. Can you get a close-up of this? Look at that. It's so, so good. So everyone, give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mmm, I'm going to take another bite of this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I love you all. Okay. Toodles.